Hey, this is Devin for TechCrunch, and we're in the uh, one of three labs for the Applied Sciences group at Microsoft. And uh, we're going to check out some of their top secret projects, which are about to be made public. First thing we have, uh, we've got one, two, three, four completely different kinds of, five, five different kinds of completely multi-touch mice that, how did I, how could I possibly have forgotten one? This, oh, the, oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Right now, the first one, the first one we've got here is... Uh, you call it the cat mouse, right? Cat mouse, yeah. So what it is is it just looks like nothing, really. It's a, it looks like a nothing, but it's a, <laughs> there's a I don't know. It, it's it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a sort of dull area on here, which is actually a it's entirely a capacitive sensor, like you have on your uh, capacitive your your touchscreen phone or a uh, touchpad, some of them anyway. Let's get just a little better look at that mouse there. So that's that's what the thing is. It's uh, quite an interesting little. Thing. And then the, the entire top part is a button, um, not unlike, what is that, there's a, there's a Mac mouse that I did not like that was like that, the clear one, but, well, it's, it's terrible, okay. but, this, <laughs> but this one feels better. <laughs> so we've got, uh, right now we've got, this is the actual reading off of the capacitive sensor, so you can see it's moving around, it's very responsive as far as I can tell, and you can, whoop, there it went. Yeah, I, just, I just did a gesture to close Yes, he just, he, just, he just got it out of the way so we can go on to the next thing. Right, so it's got all the all the core functions. It's got left click. It's got uh, right click. Um, it's got a scroll feature, but scrolling works just by moving your finger along the top of the surface. And then it gets a little bit extended beyond conventional mechanical scrolling because I can toss it and stops and toss with the momentum. Um, and then there's a uh, uh, let's say I open one of these photos. Uh, I can I can move between photos simply by flicking my thumb over the surface. So I move actually just back and forth any part of the uh, the UI, um, and then we even even played around with gestures like this, where I put my uh, mouse pointer over the top of a window and then sort of throw a window around, and then um, we have the standard multi yes. pinch gesture. There it's, it is, it's, it's, glorious. It's er ergonomically, <laughs> a little bit different than uh, than this typically done. I usually, do, I, it works in the diagonal way, but we usually just sort of do it up and down on the surface of the mouse. It's a bit like you're petting the mouse, isn't it? <laughs> well, I have a lot of affection for it. I should have spent a lot of time working on it. So that's the, that's the cat mouse. OK, great. Uh, that looks awesome. And uh, as long as we're over here, why don't we take, out, take a look at the, uh, the side mouse? The idea here is a, it's, it's a very small mouse that um, it doesn't have a front to it. It just rests under your, your, your palm at the base of your palm. And you just, Sort of move it around and it follows your hand, but the actual sensing happens in the area in front of the mouse. Right. So there's a uh, there's an IR projector that's actually projecting out a sort of line of uh, infrared that uh, it then detects with its little camera. So it it has this interesting property that um, I can sort of detect uh, gestures in quite a large area in front of the mouse, um, and I can also sort of park it on the side and and perform two-handed multi-touch gestures and sort of create dynamically. To generate this this active multi-touch area on my desk. Great. This is another variant of the, the mouse. We're calling this one FTIR mouse. That stands for Frustrated Total Internal Reflection. It's the technique we use to do the multi-touch sensing. Uh, we Essentially, the mouse is uh, based around this sheet of acrylic uh, that's been bent into a mouse form factor. It in looks, an oven. Yeah, in an oven. It looks <laughs> a little bit like the uh, the Arc mouse. I don't know if you've seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, there's a mouse sensor inside. And this mouse actually has a camera, an infrared camera, that's looking at the front of this, uh, this surface, this uh, sheet of acrylic. And what we're doing is in there we have some IR LEDs, which injecting the infrared light into the sheet of acrylic. It's bouncing around unless your fingers touch the surface, and that scatters some of that infrared light down, and that's captured by the camera. And we can see that right over here. Yeah, essentially what that means is my fingers are imaged on the front of the surface, but when they touch the surface, they light up um, very brightly in the infrared spectrum so that we can then process that, that image data, that signal, using computer vision techniques and identify clearly where on the mouse you're touching. And that gives us quite a reliable way of doing multi-touch sensing on a mouse. And there's some interesting um, uh, sort of ergonomic uh, properties to this, to this mouse. And here we've got a 
the canonical photo uh, yes. browsing application, which is one of the main things you want to do with a multi-touch device. But we, you know, here we can actually use a mouse to do these flick gestures. And um, when we find a photo that we want to zoom, we can ah, then there. bring it out and do a pinch gesture. And you can notice I'm using my thumb and my forefinger to do the pinch on top of the mouse surface. I can notice it now. There we go. And the other thing to note is that I'm doing regular mousing as well. So I can drive the cursor using the optical mouse sensor um, on the bottom of the mouse. I can you know, do, do dragging. And as, on top of that, I can do the, the sort of multi-touch gesture. So it's a really cool way of integrating the, the, the multi-touch uh, interactions that you're seeing on, uh, on other devices into this, uh, in, into this desktop setting. Marvelous. All right. So, so this is another variant of the multi-touch mouse idea. This particular one uses, again, a camera uh, that looks onto this uh, silvered uh, quarter sphere. Uh, and in this case, we can, using this technology, we can actually image pretty much everything that's happening on top of this uh, uh, dome. So when I put my hand down on the device, you can actually see... Uh, here in this image, you can see everything that uh, how I'm touching it. So one of the things that we're exploring in this with this device is uh, the how you are actually holding the device should Im influence uh, how you, you can use it in the interface. So uh, what I did here, I'm using actually the large area, large interaction area of of the surface, and I mapped different controls of this first-person shooter game. Uh, to the mouse, so this is the game that you can completely play on your mouse. Um, as I'm doing, I'm basically controlling the views kind of in the standard mouse way, but then movement just by moving my finger on the front uh, and also changing weapons on the side uh, by swiping my thumb, for example. Um, so yeah, so this, uh, this device, uh, we, we're, as I said, well, we're also looking at different ways that you can uh, control how you're doing it. So one, one way would be if you're actually grabbing it, uh, like a mouse, maybe it behaves co completely like a standard mouse, but if you're actually having a different posture, a different pose of your hand on top of it, then uh, it can have a different functionality. Excellent. And now this is the articulated uh, mouse, right? That's right. And um, it has these sort of two mechanical uh, articulated uh, components that track the movement of your thumb and index finger. So it allows me to, um, you can see in my uh, debug cursor on the screen, that I, I can track when I move my index finger and my thumb. It, each one, there's a, a mechanical button built into each one of the articulated parts allowing me to sort of click with either of those um, of those fingers. And I can, I can track those movements with a high precision um, by using three different um, a, optical mouse sensors built into each of the three parts. So one in the base uh, and, and one underneath each of the, of the fingers. Right. I didn't get to, can I test this one out? I didn't get yeah, yeah, a chance to test it out. Ooh, it's a bit, wow, it's, it's a weird feeling. Okay, yeah, so more like are, like this. Exactly. No, yeah, and then there's there's very little resistance, and I'm sure you want to make sure that that's the case. I have little Teflon feet and everything, but then once I do that, like, it's not doing anything because I'm not clicking, but once I click down, then I can move this thing that's got its little, uh, it's 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 a little debug thing, so it's hard to see, but uh -huh. it's uh, it's an interesting little thing, yeah. And you can do little gestures like that, uh -huh. and then they go all the way back in and all the way out. It's it's really kind of bizarre to feel it, but I imagine you've gotten quite used to it, haven't that, you? That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's, uh, have we got going on here? All oh, right. So you're testing the mobile phone coverage. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be back. I got two more walks. Sorry. Awesome, Rick. Okay. All right. Sorry. They told me there's something secret back here. I can't. I can't. I can't. There's something. I don't know what. But that's the next time. Yes. Next time. Okay. Well. Thanks, everybody.